Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to use ArcGIS Assistant. You, you, you may not have come across it, ArcGIS Online Assistant, Assistant I should call it. Um, and also a very quick look at the Vertigis Studio Item Manager as well. And these are two things that can help you uh, do sort of global replacing of um, sort of variables of values within your applications or web map or in this case I'm going to do it to this experience builder app so I'll show you what my sort of issue is even though manually I could do it um, when you have lots and lots of layers to do the same thing to it can be a bit of a, a pain whether you're in um, you know you're in a web map and you have to go through the layers changing things to, to this, um, perhaps to the same uh, sort of labeling or um, uh, you want to um, what what I'm going to do here is just change some of the print template information so I've got a, a, a very basic um, experience builder app here now when I when I click on the print icon I can configure these templates often there's quite a few here so there could be quite a few to change and um, and of course if you click on this bit down here the common template defaults you can you can change the um, title for example um, to what you want and you can you can change some other defaults etc um, so what I'm going to do is kind of go in through the back door so to speak you, straight to the JSON to change the title um, and hopefully that will give you sort of ideas about how you can use this in in, in lots of other areas um, and uh, a, a bit, particularly when there's a lot you know you, you, you perhaps you want to change quite a few um, things uh, few few of the settings so what I'll do now is I think I've so this is published okay so let's go and have a look at the sort of back door of this uh, so you have to imagine this and a web map um, and indeed lots of uh, other items all, all, all have JSON and they're all sort of defined by JSON uh, in the JSON format so what you need to do is go to this URL assistant.esri-ps.com and what this will do is take you to this um, sort of backdoor access to ArcGIS Online so it, it kind of looks a bit like it but the bit is but but it, it doesn't have all the um, other sort of bits of functionality there actually inexperience builder I'm just gonna um, Make sure this is published, and uh, okay. So actually, did I do? Oh, I'm going to save it into Dev as well. Actually, let's do that. I meant to put it into Dev in the first place. So I just made a copy of it in in, in Dev. That's all. So. And if you do that, if you do save as you then you then have to republish uh, a, an experience builder. So if we go back to this now, just refresh. I should have my experience. There we go. So um, so I've got these two items here. I've got the web map demo, which is what is the, the main map for this experience builder. So if I click on experience builder app, I can view the item. JSON. I can look at other resources, or I can make a copy of the item. Now, there's lot. There are lots of other bits and pieces it does. I'm just going to focus on on making a change to the JSON, so you can see what you can do. So I'm going to view the item JSON. Look at the notation. Look at look at the data behind. So you get some kind of metadata description about really what what what, what is it? It's uh, you know it's, it's it's an experience builder app, all that sort of thing. But the key thing you want to look at is data. Because this is where everything is written down. So as you can see, I can, I can see, already see the title text for the Arches web map pop up there, um, and every, everything is is all the, you know all the labels are here. Every, everything is all, all defined. So if you were wanting to do a global replace for something, um, then actually this is this is quite a powerful place to do it. So if you click, make sure this is active, this sort of window, and do a Control F. You can then search for ArcGIS Web. Okay, so because I know the title text is is that, I mean to be safer, I'll probably search for the whole thing. But for the purposes of that, I'll, I'll just do that. 
But all it's doing is searching. Um, you notice this edit JSON. Um, I can't edit this. It's not in edit mode. Let's put it into edit mode. And as soon as I do that, notice how I've now got this drop down here and now I can replace it. So I'm going to replace the words ArcGIS web map globally. And actually, um, if we go to uh, content, let's just refresh that. And actually load up the web experience builder just before I make that change. So let's view it. It's a very simple, it's just got sort of one polygon there and one point there. But if I go to print, you'll see it says ArcGIS web map. Yeah, and, and it's got the other bits in there. So there's the there's the evidence. Let's go back to Arch Assistant. Let's replace it with my print title. Yeah, and then you can one by one replace or replace them all. So I'm going to replace them all. Now I'm going to click Save. And then that that saved it. It's told me down here, which is great. I'll just go back to that. Let's go back to the Experience Builder app. Do a refresh because we've you know we've edited the JSON, so it's going to change. Go to print, and there it says my print title. So you can see how you can very much in the sort of backdoor make these changes, particularly with you know with with where there's lots of things to change. So that's a simple one. Yes, you can do it manually. Of course you can, but it it, it is useful to know about this tool because you can do other stuff. I mean, let's have a look at the web map itself. So the web map um, that underpins that experience builder. You see how, um, so, so to give you an example of how you might use this and edit it, maybe you've got um, uh, environments. So you've got a dev environment and you've got a test, UAT, production, pre-prod, you know, you've got these environments and you may, I don't know, it's just one option, you may actually rename some of the services to be, I don't know, um, either it's going to a different server because this is all ArcGIS Online, you may be using portal, so you may have a different server to go to, or you may rename the actual feature services. You may say, um, historic England battlefields underscore live is the live data, yeah? Or underscore dev is the dev data. So I could go through and do a global replace updating this, because if you've got 20, 30 layers, sure you can do it in web map um, and rename them, but you know, doing that manually, you know, it's a bit of a pain when you could, could just fly through it um, in this and there are other things you can change you know other other sort of basics maybe you're um, redefining the pop-ups and stuff you have to be wary of course you do because you can break things so do, you, you know do be wary of, of that and just one um, final point on ArcGIS Assistant but just before I quickly show you Vertigis um, when you change a feature service the name don't forget to change the item ID as well so you actually have to change it in two places in there. So yes, you could whiz, whiz through and update everything to be whatever the new name is, whatever the new service is, the new server, sorry. But you also have to change the item ID uh, and make sure you've got that in there as well. So there would be two places to change. So that, you know, that so that's not just assistant. Now there's, if you go to Vertigis link, so it's apps.geocortex.com slash item manager, you, you register with this. And um, uh, and so you put in your domain, which I think, why just, just go, which I think is just go maps. Typical, I always forget. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sorry, it just, just came out. But it's already um, logged in, um, so it knows knows I've, I've, I can allow that connection. Now, I'm not going to go all the way through this. Have a play. Just go to apps.geocortex.com, but you, you need to register. Yeah, you can't just dive in and use the link. You need to kind of register to use it. So this is much the same as Assistant. It's got a few other... Um, sort of capabilities in here when I click on one of my services. Uh, sorry, yeah, well, yeah sample pubs is, is a feature service. I can I can look through the JSON easily. I can look at the tags and I can change them. I can update them. Um, I can do some renaming. I can clone, including all resources, quite handy. You might you might find that useful, you know, just, just to um, clone them. Uh, and, and you can do a, a very simple delete. So, you know, straightforward delete. So 
it's you know it's, it, it it does much the same as ArcGIS Assistant. Personally, I prefer ArcGIS Assistant because of the layout, etc. So you're kind of used to it um, as looking like ArcGIS Online. Um, but I have to admit, you know, things like the clone um, is is pretty pretty neat. Um, but you can kind of do that anyway in here. Um, I think you can do a yeah, you can you can copy the item, um, and you can actually copy the item in ArcGIS Assistant uh, to a whole new ArcGIS Online or indeed portal I think as well yeah portal um, yeah to an enterprise account yep so you can move services you can copy them to completely different areas uh, and and just log into that account and and sort of shift them across uh, could be a backup could be um, a, some method of promotion to to you know there's a different live environment that sort of thing anyway um, I hope you find that's you that's useful um, so that's art just assistant assistant dot um, esri-ps.com uh, log in and you'll s and, and go for it and um, and then the other one is um, apps.geocortex.com don't forget to register for this one and it has a few other um, sort of features that, that, that are quite neat um, but you know it's, it's up to you whichever you uh, find useful but uh, um, yeah for, so global replace of, of things is, is actually uh, possible um, and I, yeah, hope you find that useful. Thank you.